It's a, a funny old world that we're living in right now, isn't it? It almost feels like a, a parallel universe. Or as somebody said to me recently, I feel like I'm standing on shifting sand. That reminded me of a passage in the Bible, Luke chapter 6, verses 46 to 49. And that says, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? As for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came and the torrent struck, that house could not shake because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like the man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment that the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. When my children were small, they sang a song in Sunday school called The Wise Man Built His House Upon a Rock. Don't worry, I won't attempt to sing it to you. But the words of that song talked about when the rains came down and the floods came up. And my daughter used to go, when the rains came down and the floods go whoosh, then the house on the rock stood firm. But when the rain came down and the floods went whoosh, the house on the sand fell down. As we cope with the constrictions, restrictions, difficulties and sometimes tragedies at this time, it can feel like the rains are coming down and the floods are going whoosh, can't it? And how we cope will often be helped by what our lives are built on. Are we truly standing on shifting sand or have we, by digging deep, found a firm foundation, a firm rock to stand on. Over these last months, it's felt more and more certain to me that the only thing that is certain is God. God, who is our very present help in times of trouble. For as it says in Psalm 46, on those days when I felt anxious and uncertain, afraid or even just totally desperate for a hug from my grandchildren, then I've tried to turn to God, told him exactly how I'm feeling and known his presence with me. Circumstances may not change, but it is in turning to my rock, my heavenly father, that I begin to change. That old Sunday school's chorus had a final verse. It went, as our prayers go up, the blessings come down. Or as uh, my daughter used to sing, as our prayers go up, the blessings go whoosh. It's as we turn to trust God, really turn to him, to give him our fears and anxieties that he meets with us, sometimes by filling us with his peace, sometimes by prompting a friend to send a word of encouragement, sometimes through hearing the clarity of the bird song or seeing the sun shining on a flower or reading a verse from the Bible that stands out to us. There are many ways that God will bless us as we turn to him, our sure and certain hope. We may even find that then our blessings and not the floods go whoosh. <laughs>